Mm -hmm. Right down here? Hmm? No. Up there. Good news. You're betrothed. He's my betrothed no more. What? Oh. He was just here, just departed. Having made a new vow, this time to fetch me a striped horse from Zeracania. Well, at least he chose something he stands to accomplish on his own. Quite the trek, though. Precisely. I told him I require no more proof. Let us make haste to the temple. He began hemming and whoring, babbling about honor and whatnot. Ugh. Tell me, Master Witcher. Are all men swine? Pretty much. <laughs> Not your guy, though, actually. Not all. A few exceptions out there. Ugh. Perhaps in your distant Rivia. But what care have you for my heart's woes? Your reward, as I felt. And advice, should you ever find yourself a lady witcher. Be truthful with her to save the world some grief. That we can both agree on. Because that guy, instead of running all over the place away from her, should have just come back and be like, Hey, I don't want to get married to you. No. I'm in no mood for company. Understandable. Did that guy ever like her at all? Makes me wonder because when I talked to him before, I got the impression that yeah, he did, but he just didn't want to get married that soon. But now that I'm seeing this, uh, maybe he somehow got roped into marrying her. Arranged marriage, maybe? And then for some reason, this woman never noticed that he didn't want to really get married either. Well, it's better this way. You won't be dealing with a costly divorce or anything. And now we're at a blacksmith. The best steel in all of Tucson. Take a gander. Please lighten my burdens. Show me what you have. You are a blacksmith, right? A Tucson crossbow. I should sell you my swords, but not this one, because I want to keep it. Yeah, these ones I can sell. All this crap. Oh! <gasps> wow. I cleaned him out, and I haven't even finished selling my swords yet. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh, I shouldn't sell you this stuff, right? Because I should be selling you... I should be selling it to the armorer, if I can. Normally, I don't care too much, but the armorer is right next door, right? So I guess we can head over there, too. Farewell. No, see you later. Okay, see you later. Maybe now's a good time for me to go back to the um, guy who wants to become a grandmaster, too. Mom? But I don't Where think... Oh, someone's missing their mom. Hey there. I don't think I got the full set of manticore armor yet, though, right? I'm still missing the hidden chapel part. Yeah, and feline gear. Feline gear, which I've gotten none of. Where is that anyway, out of curiosity? Whoa. So far north. Uh, near Vermentino or at Coronara? Well, that'll be perfect for me to go get later on then. Hello? <gasps> Did that just turn on by itself? The best armor around! That is what I forged! <laughs> ah, so sorry. Good to be proud of your work. Mm, what have you got there? Mm -hmm. I'll just sell you all this crap. You got 4,000 coins. Can you take all of my stuff? It's actually looking kind of sketchy. No, we're fine. Do you want to take my swords too? I think it's fine, it's not too big of a difference in terms of pricing between the blacksmith and the armorer. Oh, the blinders and stuff. Is this better than what I have right now? Yes. But this is a knight errant one, while the one I'm using right now is Zeracanian. Do I want to switch it? Just, um... Hmm. Oh, I have the wrong trophy! I got the wrong trophy there. Hold on. I want to play Gwent with you, too. So but since we've had the Zeracanium one for so long, maybe I'll switch it with the Knight Errant one. 
And I'll switch the trophy as well, but of course we're not going to be selling that. You need new bridges? Uh, gauntlets, perhaps. What say you, fair knight? Have I never been here before? He said two different greetings. Hmm, what have you got there? Huh. You can have this. And I will be keeping that. Do you want junk? You want to buy this stuff, but I don't know if I want to give it to you. Oh, the dowry! We gotta get back to Corvo Bianco. Hmm. I don't know if I should just be selling this. Silver Amber Necklace. You don't actually buy the base materials though, even though it seems to be worth more from what we saw previously. Is that because it's in the Alchemy tab? Guess I'll keep it for now, but my weight is still quite high. It's at a 90, so we gotta get rid of that stuff somehow. It's also because I'm carrying so many swords too. And the, the runes and the dyes. No, the dyes don't really weigh. I'm okay for now. I'll go back home in a sec. Do you want to play Gwent? Up for a round of Gwent? It's been a while. I don't remember if we got new cards or not. Marjoram. Oh, we got Olaf. Oh, frick! Is that like a berserker? Many have tried to defeat Olaf, but won't hear about it from them. They're dead. Morale boost. 12! And that's not even a hero card. Dang. But now my deck is getting more and more bloated. What should I take away? There's a lot going on in here. This guy? This guy... Um... Siege. He's a siege card, right? Do I even have any siege cards? I got one. Would actually be pretty devastating if we had three longships. But how often does that happen? Especially since we already have a commander's horn. Maybe I'll try taking this guy away. Because with stuff like muster, it's all about increasing the chances that you'll get the cards in your hand, right? If we have too many cards, then that obviously is decreasing the chances. Okay, Northern Realms, a deck I know all too well. Decoy, commander's horn, elf, burn up bran, two medic. Do I really need this one either? It's a pretty weak medic. I feel like I have better ones. Light Longship, Muster. Clan on Crate, Type Bond. War Longship, Type Bond. Triss, Yalmar, Ceres. Ooh, we got a pretty Skellige flavor deck today, as opposed to having Geralt and Ciri and whatnot. Okay. What do I want to take away? So he's Northern Realms, which means he can have spies, which means I should probably keep Decoy. Elf is nice. Burn up Bran! I like the medic, but the number is pretty low. This I'll keep, for sure. But between these two tight bonds, one is a sword, one is a siege card. Uh, maybe I'll take a gamble here. I don't have a commander's horn. I do. I do. I will take a gamble and take away war longship. Gondor Odim. Great trade. How about we call it a day for the trades? Now before I make the same mistake over and over again, before I use the elf, I gotta use the muster cards, right? But do I want to use both muster cards in the same round? And just kind of overwhelm him? Why not, maybe? Yeah, we got the, the face one too, so it brings all three out. 14. To zero. <laughs> one card. Defeated everything I have. And this guy is also a tight bond or a muster. This might be a good road to do Commander's Horn on, but I'm a little bit worried about weather effects. Catapult. 22 to 23. Your card is clear any weather effects. My card is brings everything back into my deck from the graveyard. Um. Oh, I forgot about this, but Sarah summons shield maidens. How many do I have again? Like one? So not too crazy, but still pretty dang good. The rest of these guys though, 
Is it time for me to use a spy now? All geared and a war longship. Very unfortunately, I took away my earlier warship. But I'll be taking the Sigismund Dijkstra here. Maintaining the 22 to 23. Still winning by one point. Oh no! Oh yeah, that's what I was afraid of. And there's nothing I can do about it because I can't clear weather. So now would not be a good time for me to use Commander's Horn. Hmm. Well, I can use a spy. The cow. And a... Is that a clan on great warrior? Wait. No, 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 no. It's this one. It's Olaf. Olaf. Olaf can be in both rows. Okay. Well, at the very minimum, it's good for me to put down the cow, right? Everything else, though? Oh, we should probably save it. So they win one round, and they get one more card because of their Northern Realm's ability. Which means our card advantage was taken away. We both have nine cards, starting in the second round here. Despite me using so many spies. But I do have the cow here. The, uh, the fiend. <laughs> it doesn't even say fiend, it just says bovine defense force. Grr. Okay. Thinking about the leader effect again. I feel like I always forget how to use this properly, but... Uh, in the third round, we'll get two cards back from the graveyard. So I can use this card to kind of control what to bring back. For example, if I want to bring back... Well, I can't bring back these three. But if I want to bring back Olaf, then before I place Olaf, I would use that card. So that I would make sure that Olaf is the only thing in the graveyard. That's pretty much what we can do, right? So, note to self, before I use Olaf, use a leader card. Now that we got that figured out. This is tight bond, but I don't got anything to go with it, so might as well just put it all down right now. Although, should I be worried about stuff like the dragon? Maybe I'll put this one down first. Oh, hold on. In terms of Commander's Horn, what can I use it on? Probably close range. This one's close range. This one can be close range. Close range. Close range. Okay. I'm just a little bit worried about the dragon. I don't know if he has it or not, so maybe I'll try to like, bait it out or something. If I use the medic... Yeah, ah, the thing about the muster cards, I can't bring back Gondro Dim and like, you know, bring back all his friends. And there's nothing in here that's close range, unfortunately. But... I can bring back the cow for next round. Would that be a... It wouldn't be good for this round, but that would be better than nothing, I guess? I feel like I should be worrying about this round instead of next round, though. Maybe I'm thinking a little bit too far ahead here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's over 10. If he's got a dragon, that's that. Oh! Alright. Then I don't even need to use Olaf. I don't need to... Okay, hold on, hold on. If I... Okay, let's use the leader card right now. Everything goes back in my deck except for decoy. And same with you. Except for your hero cards, which includes my elf. So now what I can do is I can place down... Olgeard, which actually won't be enough to win the fight, but it should be okay. Oh, it is enough because of morale boost. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So we got the bovine defense force here, but we do have... Hmm. Okay, well, we got the Clan on Grey Warrior brought back, as well as the War Longship, but not Olgeard, the one I really wanted back, unfortunately. That's okay. I think we'll be okay for this one. Maybe I'll just put down Saris here.
to really use the leader ability optimally, you have to really think ahead, starting from maybe even the first round, to really juke it all out. Well, we got a lot of hero cards here, so I feel pretty good. Hopefully we'll be okay. And we still got a commander's horn too. No dragons, no scorch. Are we gonna be alright? Morale boost too. 66 to 16. Even Dandelion won't save you. Okay, and the final dealing blow. 99 to 18. What you got? Can any siege expert? 99 to 19. And that's how we'll end. Okay, well thank you very much for the fight. Thank you very much. 100 crowns and what else? Camby. Camby. What against the pole? Maybe there's some new shapes. How come I don't remember what Camby is? I kind of want to look at it right now. Can be. What? Summon Avenger. When the time comes, the cockerel can be shall crow and awaken Hemdal. When this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new unit card to take its place. Hmm. Kind of like the cow card. Cow card, this card, and the Skellige deck in general seems to favor thinking long term, like thinking about the third round ever since the first round. Which is something I'm not very good at, but uh, so far we seem to be doing okay with it, so I'm not gonna, um, not gonna say too much. Now where do I want to go? We are in town, and I bet there's a lot of things in town for me to do, besides Gwent. How about we try to go collect our pay from the Night for Hire? We've never been back, and we did eight already. A return to traditional values and morals. That yeah, is yeah. The for problems, not we have a oh, we have an alchemist here. I'm wondering if you can accept my junk. Welcome back, master. Oh, I haven't played Gwent with you either. Show me what you've got in stock. Maybe we'll do another one before we leave, but not right this moment. No, you don't really buy my junk either. Who does? The innkeeper? Probably. Hmm, this junk, it's not that heavy. These are all like 0 0.25, 0 0.1. What's really heavy here right now? Probably like the 5,000 spoons I have. <laughs> well, not really. Not even that either. Nobody in Skellige buys books. If I want to sell all these parchments and stuff, I gotta go back to Novigrad. Need to get going. Till next time. I think there was another smaller quest that I didn't finish back in Novigrad yet, so when we go back there, that'll be something I'll have to remember to do. Nice tune. Again? What is this? Information for tournament participants. Dear fellow Gwent lovers, allow me to present myself, Count Monnier, the organizer of this Gwent tournament. As you most probably know, I have introduced a new faction. We've read this. Yes. Just a place where you can find out about the tournament, I think. That's cool. Thank you for the plants. If we want to get paid for all the stuff we've done... Oh, look at that very pretty, nice orangey glow we have here. By the way, aren't we supposed to have new hairstyles and stuff in Tucson? Have we just not seen the barber yet? I don't know. I feel like there might still be places that we haven't visited. Hello? Greetings, Knight. My clerks have brought word of heroic deeds on your part. Please accept this compensation for your toil, good sir. 800 crowns for 8 deeds. Cool, thank you. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night. Oh, wait. That seems like it's not very much though, considering how we get 100 crowns for winning a Gwent match, in comparison to doing all these dangerous things around the country. Killing bandits and whatnot. 
Mm -hmm. This is level 42. So to get back here again... Yeah, the Wine Wars is strikingly low level compared to every other quest we have here. It's 10 levels away. And I feel like I've been talking about it forever now, so why don't we make it a focus to focus on it? And then after that, we gotta fix Prophet Lebiota's statue too. But then that's pretty much it. Master, 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 I will be back once I get the diagrams. Yeah, let's head off to Coronada then. The closest way would be to the Cooper's Gate and... Oh, before that, we should go back to Corvo Bianco so we can give... No, no, no! I was thinking that we have to give Marlena her dowry, but she wanted me to keep it. It's not like she wanted me to retrieve it for her. She wanted to give it to me as a token of her appreciation. Well, I'll see. Maybe I'll go back anyway, just to see if she has anything to say about it. Oh, children, don't copy this. This is very dangerous. Wow. <laughs> oh, we did it. Take two was a success. <laughs> Here we go. Corvo Bianco? Is a good place to go back to anyway because we can put some stuff in our stash, we can get some bonuses by sleeping in the bed, we can pick some herbs to um, do nothing with. <laughs> I don't really do anything with any of the stuff I pick up ever, do I? But it's nice to pick up anyway. It's nice to know we can do that. Hey, look, there's harvest here again. Good, good. I imagine there's more down here. Beggar tick, rubber cane. It is almost midnight now though, so there's no workers here. Good, good. I don't want anyone claiming that I'm a horrible boss and that I make them work until like late hours, one in the morning or anything like that. I need everyone to know that I treat my employees very well and I don't pay them at all. <laughs> the Duchess does, but I'm sure she pays them very well. And that's really all that matters, right? Hello, Roach. How are you feeling? You got new blinders now. And if I remember right, your saddle was also a knight errant one, right? Uh, here. Right, so now you're like a fully decked out knight errant horse. Not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> Okay. Hey, everybody. Marlena? I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. No, we already saw this. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember... You always have warm food awaiting your return. You know, she wasn't white for so long that I'm not sure if she can ever really completely integrate back into society again. She's seen so much and killed so many people too. Of course it's not her fault, but I bet it still weighs on her. How might I be off surface, sir? <laughs> I can't even see your face, BB. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Do I have any undecorated armor stands around here? I don't have any new paintings. There's gotta be more somewhere. Oh, I do have an armor stand here. Should I just take out some random armor then? Do I have any more sets? Yeah, while I'm here, I'm gonna throw in all these runes too. Because these end up weighing quite a bit, although I don't do anything with them ever. This stash lag is getting a bit... unreal. There we go. Ish, the die don't weigh, so it's okay for me to um, have it. Put this inside, we got some precision bolts that I should probably equip. For now, I'm just gonna put this back into my stash then. Is that alright? We have an armor stand. What armor could I put down here? New moon armor? 
Yeah, we can commemorate that one time I broke into someone's vault and stole their house. New moon? New moon. That was something memorable, after all. And the pants. New moon trousers. And there's the mask too, but I don't think we can put that on the armor stand. Okay. We got all this money that we can exchange somewhere. And all this crap here. <laughs> God, there's so much crap in my inventory. Okay. We should be okay though. Oh, I'll put the phoenix egg in here and Marlena's dowry. Golden spoons. Made of pure gold, 500 crowns. Dang. These quest items will basically never need it again, right? But it just kind of takes up space in my inventory for no reason. Dang. These are worth a pretty penny. Well, that's how much I value them for, but when I sell it, I know I don't get that much. I get maybe like half the price. Armor stand. New moon armor, trousers, gauntlets, boots. Wonderful. Wonderful. I feel like we have too many armor stands, though. I know this is the home of a witcher and all, but with all the weapons and armor here, if I wake up in the middle of the night and try to go to the washroom or something, it feels like there's people standing all around. Okay. Uh, we should equip that. Yes. I'm kind of wondering what's weighing so much because I still have 86 here. If I sort by weight. Well, I never touch anything in the alchemy tab anyway, but I have a lot! Holy crap, a hundred bottles? But these all weigh nothing. It's okay for me to not care about it. It's the junk. The junk is weighing a heck ton right now, like these 17 chains here. Oh my god, they weigh 10 things! And the bear hides and stuff. These are high priority items to sell once we get to a merchant. Yikes. And that's probably the kind of stuff I should be dropping. As opposed to the swords. Because I think the swords are worth a lot more. Let's make a note to do that next time. Alright, got these nice bonuses. It's a nice new day. Thank you for taking care of the house, Marlena and BB, and we will head off. After I get some nice bonuses here. We got a dog! Is that my dog? Or is it just a random dog? Okay. For real. For real. Let's focus on Coronada. So, we got five problems in total. Let's go to the... Cockatrice Inn. Because I want to sell my junk, and then we'll go to the windmill, get the question mark, and then slowly make my way northward. Would that kind of make sense? I hope so. Hello. Hi, and pigs can fly. They say her grace has called in someone to tend to the beast. A killer from the north, they say. What? With no lads brave enough? Of course we have, but bravery is not enough against the beast. It wields dark powers. That calls for a witcher. Or a mage. I feel like a place like Tucson naturally would attract a lot of really pragmatic Money-minded people. <laughs> what kind of singing was that? But I don't really feel like there's really that many of that sort of people here. Like for example, witchers that really only care about money. Or like a lot of businessmen. Seems like I'm the only witcher here so far. What's in the works today? Swilling wine, rolling in the hay? Oh, your recipe is back. I stole it last time. Oh, there's another one. Hair pate recipe? Free the hair of its skin and massage its flesh with your blade 
till but small bits remain. Slice up the back of a fattened pig along with a handful of carrots and perhaps a parsnip and an onion. Throw the lot into a well-seasoned cast iron pot along with some diced bolletes. Add bread to the broth. Da -da -da -da. No, no, I'm not gonna read this in full. It's gonna make me hungry. I know it. Greetings. What do you need? Your money. Show me what you got in stock. Your money. You definitely buy junk, right? So please, buy my chains. <laughs> 17 chains weighing 10 thingies is only worth 50 crowns. It's really not a good trade. All this crap. Bag of grain? Wait, bag of grain? This is food! This is not junk! These don't weigh too much, except for the chain. The rest of these don't really weigh that much. 16 pieces of paper, 1.93. But unfortunately, they also don't really ever add up <laughs> to be any amount of real money. The gold plates are pretty nice. Hides. I remember back in the beginning, I tried to keep the hides because they might be useful for crafting and stuff. But as it turns out, I don't think that was ever really a problem anyway. Five crowns! Can't buy any more. Not even a broken rake. But some goblets. Okay, thank you! Gwent? You're one of the people, so I gotta do this sooner or later. Not likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. What's in the works today? Swilling wine, rolling in the hay? Can be. What's the thing it'll turn into? Is this supposed to be... At first, I thought this was Vivian, but it's not, right? Because it's a Skellige thing. And it talks directly about Hemdal. Guess I'll just keep it like this, but my deck is getting bloated again. Again! Oh well. Oh! <laughs> I forgot to take out Burna Bran. That's why I mentioned I would try to take out next time, right? Decoy, Commander's Horn. Can be right here. Burna Bran, Gondor Odim. Shield Maiden. Clown Crate Warrior. Type Bond. Warship Type Bond. Yennefer. Dragon. Okay, this time we don't got too many big cards. I kind of want to take away the Shield Maiden because it's only a 4, and I think I only have one in my deck. Light Longship, Muster. Definitely a good trade. Ah, same decision again. Clan on Crate versus War Longship. Who do I want to take away? I have a Commander's Horn, and I got Close Combat, Close Combat, Range, Ranged, Close Combat, Siege. Let's take away Siege. I got Olaf in return. That's also definitely an upgrade. Mm-hmm. Gondro Dim. You are also Skellige. So maybe you don't have too many spy cards. I don't think there are spy cards in Skellige deck, right? Because Skellige people, their traditions and values are more like, you know, beat people up and be honest and brave. Not really much room for stuff like reconnaissance and whatever. 20 to 6. A bit of a waste. But at least we won. This one? Let's put this one down too. We won the first round here, but I'm a little bit worried about the next round. What do we got? 11. It's a hero card. Oh, <gasps> Hemdol himself. Oh! It was literal! I thought it just meant like the power of the god or something, but it's actually Hemdol himself. When the time of the White Frost comes, Hemdol will sound the call for battle. Wow. How come I don't remember learning about this at all? In all the times that we were at Skellige? Maybe we can just win this right off the bat? Yeah, maybe? Um. If we can use Burna Brand to bring back Cambi again, then for next round, that would be really good. But if we can win this round, that would be even better. I got two medics. 
Maybe I'll put down this guy. Ah, this guy was a Skellige deck, so I probably could have taken away the decoy because I can't really think of too much to decoy. Can I win this round? He's got eight cards, I got six. If we both push into the third round, we'll both have the same perk of getting two cards back from the battlefield. So if we can seal the deal here, that would really be ideal. But I don't have anything good in my freaking graveyard. Yeah. Um... And I'm scared he's got like dragons and stuff. I don't know. Well, speaking in terms of the commander's horn, we have to use it on this row, probably. Do I have any close combat cards? No. Except for Kambi, which is zero for this round. Let's put it down like this for now. And I'll bring back... Gondro Dim. I still have one more Medic in Yennefer. Hmm, I wonder if it might be a good idea for me to use my decoy card, just to delay things a little bit. I don't really have anything to decoy, I'm just doing this because I want to delay it and see what cards he has. He's got his little fake dandelion. A bard. Olgeard? Uh, I don't think he has a dragon. Do I want to commit everything right now, though? Okay, we gotta. Forget about Kambi. Kambi is for next round. There won't be a next round. We can just seal the deal right now. 34? 24? I have three cards left. He has five. Oh, no. Oh, no. 60! Am I gonna be okay? We have morale boost coming from Olaf here. 48, 60. A young berserker, but do they have a Mardrome or Ermion? <laughs> Why don't you have anything in the close combat row? Gosh dang it. I'll put down Commander's Horn. This row? 70, 63. Are we gonna be okay? I got one card left. Oh no! Things are looking really bad for me. 70 to 69. I have one card, he has two cards. I also have a dragon, plus commander's horn. 86 to 69. Can we do this? They pass! I win. The end. Ooh! Started getting a little bit worried towards the end there, but we did it. Thank you, thank you. Where's my money? Where's my money? Did it just not pop up, maybe? I don't know what card you gave me either. You were one of the Gwen people, right? Yeah, there was an icon here earlier, but now it's gone. Okay, well, maybe we'll find out what card it is next time. Why don't we head off to this question mark here? All we gotta do is follow the road along the way. Today doesn't seem like a good day to travel, though. Or maybe some people like this kind of weather. <laughs> no! Roach! I want to ride Roach. That's it, Roach. That's the butcher of Blaviken. Yeah, people here know about me. It's a little bit cloudy today. Almost seems like pollution smog, but it can't be because, you know, we're not industrialized yet, and I'm pretty sure we're going the wrong Faster. way. Probably it's gonna start raining oh, later on. Am I invisible? Sorry. Ah! Very sorry, everybody. They say Huge apologies. Praying to... On, maybe Prophet Lebiota? It's not exactly sunshine today. Which is basically what it's like back in Snow Velen. Now. Like, it's very dreary seeming Faster. right now. Much like back in Velen, in Novigrad. Even the brightest of cities has days when it's not all rainbows and sunshine.
We have a cave here. And a wine merchant. Who's probably like, please help me clear out the cave. Let me hold up, wept. It is positively risky. Pardon me. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you could help me. You seem a strapping lad. What's the problem? I acquired this old storehouse at auction. As it turns out, it stinks like an Ophiri larder and is loud as a Novigrad brothel. Bumbotch it all. I infested my life savings. Now I fear to go inside. Do help me, Witcher. Um. Could look into it, maybe. As long as you have the means to pay me. You're a random wine merchant, so I feel like getting a little bit more. No, I fear not. <laughs> that is not an expense I can accommodate. Even Roach is not happy, do you see? Even the guy in the back is not happy! He walked right through you to show his discontent! Fine, so be it. We've a deal. Okay. Alright, I'll take a look inside your storehouse. These wine merchants... They pay me 170, but when I do stuff from the camera lango, they only give me 100. You know what? It's because of all those middlemen fees. We're getting ripped off on both sides here. Uh, stinks of carrion. Necrophages. Oh god. Uh, I think we can probably go with a torch. We would like necrophage oil, wouldn't we? Tony Owl, not good in the morning. And out of curiosity. My Erendite. The damage is now increased by 10, but the maximum is now 20 because I leveled up while I was in Beauclair. Oh, lovely. Hello, ghouls. Oh, Oh, there's an owl ghoul here. Sorry, I didn't see you because it's so dark in here. Didn't mean to uh, make you feel ignored. Oh, but for that guy, I do have to be careful of the spikes. But it's dead anyway, without me having to axie it. Okay. That can't be it, right? That's it? <sighs> Reeks in here. Seems like this cow has died for a long time. More rotting flesh. There was a bigger guy over there. Well, he never said I couldn't take stuff from the storehouse, right? He's not gonna be needing it anyway. Oh, there's a dead pig. <sighs> Reeks in here. Rusty Hammerhead. Because why? Why do I even bother? Oh, <laughs> why do I even bother with this? That is water. Ooh. A bigger ghoul here, but still just a ghoul. Well, there had to be something here attracting the ghouls in the first place. The cows and pigs being dead. But then why do the cows and pigs die? Uh, do we want to go in the water? I can't tell if we're done or not because it didn't give me a quest update. <laughs> of all the things I could have stood on, I stepped on the wooden barrel. Rabbit pelt, wolf's liver. I think we're done. It was really just the few ghouls. What was this? A few florins. This is the place where we were looking down earlier, but there's no place for us to get out. So we gotta go back this way. Quite dark in here. Ah! Hey! Hey! Geralt! 
<laughs> Get up! This one is not just a cave, though. It's already being used as a warehouse. So he doesn't have to, like, bring in shelves or anything. And? And? Is the storehouse safe? Well, have you seen to my storehouse? The storehouse was full of rotten meat. Attracted ghouls ah. and had to get rid of. Saint Lebiodas callous teals. But is it safe now? Completely. Mm-hmm. Though I'd advise you to clean the meat out quick before other ghouls show up. Of course. Yes, I shall put my men to it, too sweet. No, no worries. I already cleaned up the rotten meat for you. <laughs> Meanwhile, perhaps you need something? I've a meager stock just now, but come back in two days to see a full array at a discount that will make you cross-eyed. Was wondering, previous owners, what did they use the warehouse for? Why was it full of carrion? It was Gottfried Nork's before it was mine. Yes, that Nork. Toussaint's most famed charcutier. <laughs> that is, until his saucisse a la moutarde poisoned half the court of her illustrious highness, the Duquesa. Take it he fell out of favor. Favor's not the word. He was cast in prison, all his property confiscated and auctioned off. People in Toussaint love wine so much. It's a really easy way to poison somebody. So long. If somebody doesn't it like a duke or a duchess, I've lost it they can again. just be like, Hey, I got this really great wine for you. Oh. And then boom, that's it. Yes, Witcher? Let's go! Thank you, everybody! Now that that's done, apparently in the future we can come back here. Or something. But if we go head into the forest, We'll be Slower. able to solve the first Coronada problem. So after going through all the problems back at Vermentino, it really didn't seem like anything was too surprising. Like, yeah, there were signs of sabotage and people getting kidnapped and stuff, but it wasn't really conclusive. Who did it? Hmm. Random Let's little house go. here. Who is this? My favorite Arcus Boars. Uh-uh. Don't get me with that. Insectoid oil and... Golden Oriole. Quit it. Quit it. How many are here? Just one? Oh, I'm actually taking quite a while. Ew! It was sloshing all around and stuff. one problem solved. If I were someone wanting to sabotage this vineyard, how do I get Archispores to come occupy the land on purpose? Is there some kind of Archispore seed I can spread around the area? Or like, how do I lure them here? Is that possible? Good work, Geralt. With the duchy safe, you can take some time off. I'm not sure if the duchy has been saved just yet, but we're not quite there yet. I still gotta report back to the duchess about what we've learned so far. Ah, oh, do you think it's possible for us to convince her that no, you know, Detlaf... Detlaf wasn't really doing all of this out of his own volition, so he should be spared. I don't know. We haven't really talked to Anna Henrietta that much, so I don't really have a good grasp for what she would do and what she wouldn't. It's just something we'll have to uh, play by ear. Oh. Let us kill. Let us oh. <laughs> do you love murdering that much? 
Ow! Whoa! I don't have Tony Owl. Yes, come out here. Ooh, one guy just freaking froze to death. Because once I start rod ramming your gray muff. Life is beautiful. Oh, okay, I saw that happen firsthand. Now I see it. And there's one more guy. Try to aim at me if you can. Wonderful last rend. This camp has a legit bed here. This person was camping here for a long time. And when I say this person, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the bandits. Because I saw a dead body down here. Who is probably the original owner. Journal from a journey around the world. Pork. Oh. Uh... Did I do something strange? Which is making it so that the pop-ups aren't coming up now? What did I do? Probably, right? But I didn't touch the options menu. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know, but I can always come back here. First day of the expedition. I, Conrad Vate, shall do the impossible. In 80 days, I shall traverse the entire continent. From Caravista to Land Exeter. I spit upon danger and hold in the highest contempt all of the small-minded folk who predict catastrophe and failure. I shall prove to my adversaries that betting against me was the greatest mistake of their lives, a mistake for which they shall pay dearly, and an Ulfgaardian Florence. So it's an Ulfgaardian. Sixth day. I am still in Beauclair. To keep my pre-established plan, I should have passed the city by altogether, for I am already two days behind, but blast it all. My rear is about to fall off from bouncing on that infernal wagon bench. I've reached my limit of hard tack and dried pork. I've earned a bit of luxury, so it's time to visit the famed pheasantry. Eighth day. I made some new friends in the pheasantry, kindred lovers of adventure all. They caught on at once to the idea behind my expedition and decided to join me. Tomorrow we embark together. Oh no. Yet, Susan... One of my new companions suggested we leave the city at once and pitch a camp outside Beauclair. There we shall be able to conduct a thorough inspection of my supplies and prepare for the journey onward. Evening. We have made our provisory bivouac. Everything was examined, my funds counted to the last copper. Zuzan loaded everything onto a wagon and prepared the horses. I now sit by the fire, drinking SS and enjoying an evening of relaxation. Life is beautiful. Oh, they just want money. Did they really have to kill the guy? They could have just robbed him far away, but no, they had to just... I guess it's in their best interest to eliminate the guy entirely, in the bandit's best interest. Because if you don't, eventually he's gonna go back to the authorities being like, Oh my gosh, I was robbed by these guys, and then that would lead to a lot more trouble for him. Poor guy though, he was just trying to um, see the world. But I guess, unfortunately, this is also part of the world we live in. Unfinished report. Okay, something is really strange here because why are the things not popping up now? What happened? Ah, I gotta figure it out later on. But for now, if I can read the report... <laughs> Where's the report? It's on her books, isn't it? Where is it? <laughs> here? What? Oh, it's here. It's a quest. As per your orders, Philibert, we joined Conrad Vade's expedition. <gasps> a truly dense fool, that one. Set out from Caravista, meaning to reach Lan Exeter on his own. And the best part is, he wasn't going to do any trading along the way. Said he'd made a bet with some pals that he could reach his goal in less than 80 days. His wagon was chock full of supplies, along with an altogether weighty trunk of Nilfgaardian florins attached to the coach box. We drank and ate all night at the pheasantry. On his coin, I've still got heartburn. Didn't hesitate a moment before agreeing to let us join him on his journey. Our suggestion to pitch camp outside the city didn't raise the slightest suspicion. Near finished the job without even getting our hands dirty. 
But alas, Zhu Zhen swung the hammer a bit too weakly, skull didn't crack at once, and even though that cretin was drunk as a lord, he howled bloody murder and spooked the horses. To make things worse, they were already harnessed, so they dragged the wagon straight into the lake. We're eager to get the blazes out of here quick as possible, because this place is crawling with those bleeding knights errant and ducal guardsmen. But as of out of spite, the wagons got stuck in the mud. Mm. That's probably what I saw in the water just now, over here. And that should be a quest, right? But for some reason, the quest prompts are not coming up now. Hold on, I should probably be looking into this, right? Okay, I couldn't find anything in the menu that really let me change any quest update options, but I reloaded the game. Hopefully this is gonna help out. If we got a treasure hunt key... Yes, this was a quest. Around the world in... 8 days. Oh, this guy was only on his journey for... 8 days. He was way too trusting of everybody. But the world is just not that kind. You with your own tinkling. Oh, there's people here. I got too long. Oh, look at that. He's frozen but burning. The art range is actually quite far. I like it. Now, if everything is working. As soon as we open the chest, will it update? Blinders of the five chivalric values. Virtues? Ooh. This is the same as usual, but the coloring is a little bit different, right? Maybe we can check that out. The design is a little bit different, right? Oh, look at that. Doesn't really match with the silver in the back though, but maybe we can find a matching one for the saddles? Oh, here we go. The updates seem to be working now. Well, that's that. The guy doesn't get his gold back, the bandits don't get the gold, and everyone's dead. Happy ending. <laughs> These were Philibert's people, but he's already dead anyway, so we're just taking out the trash here.